God commanded the man now mm -hmm. that he shall not eat the fruit in the middle. I'll give all this instruction. For the day shall eat, he shall surely die. die. Yeah. Now, ladies and gentlemen, God saw it was not good for this man. Which man? We say man has five things. Work is in ending. He can cultivate. He can protect. And he has the vision. Or he can teach. Or he has the word. Yeah, five things. Priest, yeah. And they said, this man who has those five things, mm -hmm. it's not good for him to be alone. Amen. So there are some men who are supposed to be alone. But this man who is in hand, yes. who has a job, who can dress mm -hmm. or hand value, who can protect, who can teach, or who has a vision, that man is not supposed to stay alone. Yeah. He said, I will give him and help me, sweet of and that what happened? God caused the man to sleep. Yeah. And then took the woman out. One rib. Where is the rib taken from? Here, the left side. When we are viewing us from the camera, some of you may see us seated. <laughs> some even ask. <laughs> we are seated in the wrong place. But we want you to know we are not seated at the wrong place. It's, it's the camera. If you, you learn physics, you will understand that. So, <laughs> we're in the right place, but you see us opposite. opposite. So, listen to this. <laughs> Where was he taken from? From the left side. Mm. And the rib was taken. Do you know what the ribs do? They protect ear. Something very sensitive is ear inside here. The heart. When you go down the lungs... Yeah. So all those important things are protected by these cages that are there. So when a man slept, God took the rib, took the woman out of the man. What was, how was the man before? He carried both male and female inside. But the male are not, female are not manifested. God created them, male and female. Male and female are created one day. Spiritual men. Spirit. Amen. But formation, flesh. Yeah. Flesh. Mm. Flesh was created differently. When a man was formed, that's formation, I say, was formed differently. Man created and then formed. Human created and then formed. Understand that? Mm -hmm. No, who was created? Male and female. Amen. So they were created, all of them, the same time. Mm. And God blessed them at the same time. So there is equality. Amen. They were blessed. Now, when it came now to forming, man was formed first. Yeah. And where was the woman? Man was formed together with the woman, but the woman was not manifested. Until God took the rib. That's a woman now. Mm -hmm. The rib was transformed into a woman. Created. The only thing that God uh, did is to make a man sleep, take that rib out, then form it into a woman. He brought it to Adam, and Adam looked and realized the one who was inside me has come out. Wow. See, this is the bone my of my bones. This bone did not come out of her. And this is the flesh of my flesh. Mm -hmm. So God made sure he does not take something else and create and give Adam. Mm -hmm. He gave Adam part of himself. Yes. I hope somebody is getting yes. me. He gave Adam <laughs> part, of, part himself. of himself. Praise the Lord. So a woman is a part of a man. And the man is a part of the woman. Because the woman was taken out of the man. Mm -hmm. yes. Formed. From something out of the money. So, when you are... Let me tell you this. This is something that you may not understand, but it's true. All genders, all genders, we are half of each other. All genders, we are half of each other. A man is a half a woman, and a woman is a half a man. <laughs> You may not understand, but God help you That's to understand that. Some say a half of me. A yeah, half, half of me. Yeah. So some say a half of me. I'm and getting the other say part. I'm not complete. I'm not complete. Yeah. So no one is complete without the other. Without the other. Mm -hmm. 
No one is complete without, without the other. Let me understand that you understand this. So a half of you is out. That's how God took out the woman, made the woman, and then brought it to man so that they can become one. one. So look at this. It is not that they were never one. They were. So God wants them to return the way they were from the beginning. From the beginning, Amen. but they live separate. People you can see, this is Handam, this is Eve, but they are one. Their life is one. That's a mystery. Flesh is one. Bones, one. It's a mystery. Mystery. <laughs> mystery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I never knew my wife until God spoke to me. Mm -hmm. But when we came to understand, even our <laughs> blood type it's the same. is one. Yeah. That's clear. She was taken out of me. You cannot be, <laughs> be taken differently and appear different. Now, let me, let me come, let me spare you this, this day for that. Because some things are very deep. When you start telling some people, they will start running away and say you are ex over-exaggerating. But let me speak to you. <laughs> And allow me to speak to you today. Man without human was not complete. Human was taken out of man and she must return back. Man, the woman was taken out of you and she must come back. And the two must again reunite and become one flesh. Amen. So the, the mystery on bringing man and woman together and make them one again the way originally they were is called marriage. It's the biggest mystery of reconciliation. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> it is the biggest mystery of reconciliation that two can become one. And that is the ultimate goal of marriage. I say again, the ultimate goal of marriage is not to have children. Mm -hmm. It is not to build big houses. Amen. It is not to have big ministry. The ultimate goal of marriage is one flesh. I repeat, the ultimate goal of marriage is one flesh flesh. Amen. You are not yet fulfilled in marriage mm -hmm. or you have not fulfilled the goal of marriage yeah. until you become one flesh. Until two become one flesh, yeah. they will never realize the importance of marriage. Yeah. Until two become one flesh, mm -hmm. they will never see the joy of marriage and they will have failed in that goal. Not until you mix until you become one flesh. Was it possible? Yes. Why did God take a woman out of man to prove that she can go back? How did Handam know this? Looked at the woman and said, this is the bone of my, bone. of my bones. This is the flesh of my flesh. That is revelation. That is revelation. You know what say? This is the spirit of my spirit. This is the mind of my mind. <laughs> he said, this is the bone of my bones. So how do the Adam identify woman? Identify woman with the flesh. Physical. Oh my goodness. Physical. So the flesh is what he identified with. Now, it is not difficult for man and woman to become one spirit. Because that is easy. It's a spiritual thing. Yeah. It's not difficult for them to become one mind. But it is difficult become for them flesh. to become one flesh. Mm -hmm. It, when you are told add one and one yeah. and then make them one that's <laughs> one difficult plus one equals even one. mathematically when the people do census here yeah, they will count us as two but we are not supposed to be two one hey. so <laughs> there, there is something that is here and you need to understand as married couples now how do we achieve this say this now look at how the Bible reveals this and speaks mm -hmm. to us again. Mm. Say, therefore, shall a man live? <laughs> therefore, shall a man live? Yeah. His father and his mother and cleave unto his wife, 
and they shall become one. So <laughs> there must be living and then cleaving and then becoming one. So what is difficult now is the man to live. Because you cannot cleave until you live. Please hear that. It is becoming difficult for a man to live. So there are things you want to do yourself attached. Those old friends, physical locations, all those things that are binding you. And I believe this is where the old scenario That's, that's how the problem, problem is, is now. Yeah. You have received to abandon what you used to be before yeah, the woman yeah, comes. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then be cleave to the woman. Say, woman, you are, come, you are brought out of me. Please, I hold on to you. Some people are holding on to other things, not their wives. You are still holding on to your old friend. You are still holding on to your mother. You are still holding on to your father. You are still holding on to your degree. You are still holding, holding, holding. That's why God says, what God has put together, Amen. no man should put asunder. Oh, hallelujah. There is no separation. Amen. That's why we say, when you unite the couple, the marriage, now, they join like this. Mm. This, this point is not supposed to be separated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There must not be operation here. Mm -hmm. They must continue to be one. Yeah. And what is happening? People are filled now mm -hmm. to come together. To come together and become one wow. flesh. Mm -hmm. So the ultimate goal of marriage is one flesh. That's what the Bible says. It does not say, and now the man shall leave his father and mother and join the wife and then produce children. It says, <laughs> man shall leave his father and his mother and shall cleave unto his wife and they shall become one flesh. Now, man is to live. Man is to live. But there is now perversion because mostly when it comes even to the physical lifestyle, mm. mostly women live. Most is women that, live. Is that a disorder? Yeah, I don't see it as a disorder. <laughs> All of them are supposed to live. Mm -hmm. But mostly now, because the man, yeah. the man, mm -hmm. the man is, is, is the one who is the leader. Yeah. The culture elevated the man. The principles of teachings, even the law elevated the man. Mm -hmm. Because the man occupies the, the place of, of Christ. Amen. And when he occupies the place of Christ, mm -hmm. it's the church that will live and join Christ. Mm -hmm. It's the Christ who prepares a place for the church. Amen. So it's a man who prepares a place for the wife. But before man gets the wife, mm -hmm. he comes to the wife. Yeah. That's why you saw most men, before they get the woman, they go for her from where? Our people. Yes. And convert her, or convert her Winner, who her, bring her to himself from the people. That is like the way Jesus takes the church yeah. from the world yes. to himself. Amen, amen, amen. You see that now? The takes the church uh, from the world amen. to himself. Amen, amen. So that is why yes. there is no, we, we cannot say it's a perversion. Mm -hmm. Uh, but the man is, 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 the wife is following the man. Mm -hmm. But now when the, 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 the man follows, the, the wife follows the man, the man is not supposed to keep the wife under influence and control of the parents. That's why there is a separation there. You have, you have become of age. You form your own family. Mm -hmm. So you are supposed to move from influence, interference, directions of your parents. And become a person. So physically, mm -hmm. the reason why we encourage physical movement mm -hmm. or relocating yeah. is to uh, minimize the interference or possibility of interference. Mm -hmm. You make it difficult. Mm -hmm. Like now I'm living with you here. Yeah. It will become difficult yes. for my mother to come and interfere with whatever you are doing here. That's but if you are just living next to her, mm -hmm. whenever you cook, whatever you do, there are some things you would like to do for me mm -hmm. that you cannot do for everyone. Sometimes you want to prepare a special meal for yeah. me, mm -hmm. not for all of them, but you cannot do that. Yeah. Yeah. We must all eat communion food. <laughs> you must all do all those things. There are things you yeah, can't that's, do. That's right. Because now you are limited. That yes. liberty yeah. is moved. That's why we encourage. Mm -hmm. If there is possibility of doing that, mm -hmm. move out. Praise the Lord. If there's no possibility, mm -hmm. try as much as possible mm -hmm. to have your own house that is independent yes. 
from the house. Don't mm. use the same kitchen, mm. don't use the same all those things. They will have limits. Yeah. That liberty is not there. Mm -hmm. Don't allow your mother to live with you and to stay there. They will deny you liberty. Yeah, there are some don't. things you mm. cannot do before your mother. That's right. That's right. You cannot do. There are some things you cannot tell your husband before even your own mother. Mm -hmm. So you will be squeezed. You will be limited. Mm -hmm. And she, the mother will may come to you like she has the same mentality. You are the same girl. girl. And that is where, sir, especially now, those who have their mothers who are their firstborns mm -hmm. and their mother, uh, their mother is not elderly. She is still young mm -hmm. because... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's some mothers who are almost looking the same like their firstborn that's right. daughters. Yeah. So that is where we have heard even the mother has desired the, uh, the, the, the son in law. Yeah. And because this is something she you started compete. doing, because she started now coveting things of the old. And this will become a problem. Now, that's a topic for another day. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, listen to me. Okay. The ultimate goal in marriage is one flesh. One flesh, that means the flesh is not two. The people stand, we see them two, but the flesh is one. Hallelujah. The flesh is one. The flesh is one. So you become one flesh and you have not attained the goal of marriage Hallelujah. and you will become one, one flesh. This, the two shall become one flesh. Why are you not getting all the benefits? Why are we having all those problems? Because the two have not become one. one. That's why they have different plans. They have different tastes. They have different authors. Because they have not become one. one. So we want to show you shortly. How can you become one? Mm -hmm. I said again. We start from origin. The man and the woman spiritually. The spiritual person. The spiritual person. Do you know why the Bible... Bible says clearly that he formed them, male and female. female. Mm. Why does he say that? Mm -hmm. So that you will not think that it's the male that was formed, was created first. He created them in their image. Image of God, male and female. So it is not male who is in the image of God. <laughs> it is male and female. and female. So the spirit, there is no gender when it comes to spirit. But God here puts just say male and, and female. Because he knew there's some, something that would come to happen to some people. Now, I want to say this. After we have been formed, and we are given the physical look now, out of the same physical look, body, the woman is plugged out. So the woman, you have the business to go back where you are plugged from. And man, you have the business to accommodate. That's why you are not to clean, mm -hmm. accommodate, and see you swallow her into yourself. And when you swallow her into yourself, the two of you becomes one, one flesh. And how do we begin now this journey? Because the people who live together, they look like East mm -hmm. and West. You, you, you don't have to discern to know their problems. I say when I teach the young people, there are people who marry a shorter rib and they are tall so there will be a, a vacuum you will see this person there's something wrong because that one did not fit bedding. where they came out it's from bedding. Bedding. it's bedding yeah. you, are, you are weak on my side and there are those who bought, bought married and bought the ideas and got into marriage with a, a very long <laughs> or tall rib. So, whenever they are going, uh, there is something protruding. even in protruding like cannot this. Be hidden. It cannot be hidden. There are some people who have obvious problems. <laughs> obvious. Mm. Some, they have problem in secrets. You have to discern. Others, it's obvious. You look at them, you are told their husband and wife, you say, no. They can fight anyone. They, they can not, anything. Even without fighting. You look at them and you see, these were not supposed to say, I am not God, but, <laughs> but these ones, 
<laughs> We're not supposed to be together. This, it, it, they, they have nothing in common. Have you ever seen people living and they have nothing in common? <laughs> it's better to be sincere sometimes. Eh? There are people I meet and I ask, who went to who first? <laughs> because they have nothing. They share nothing. They share nothing at all. They are always parallel. And when I was in school, I learned parallel lines. They <laughs> never meet. So these people can never meet. And if they can never meet, they can never become one. And you look at them. Obviously, you look at them and you look. There are some people you look at them. You see, these are couple. They look alike. They, when they marry, even their color begin to rhyme. If somebody was so dark, the other one was a bit light, they start swallowing one another. Until you start seeing now there is rhyming, even of the flesh, between the two of them. Something happens. I don't know, that, but something happens in marriage. And when you look at them and say, this is like a brother or a sister. Brother or a sister. You look alike in marriage. That's how marriage is supposed to make you look alike. Now, look at this. They started one in the spirit. How would you become one flesh now? You can't become one flesh until you visit your origin where you are one. Now, um, because of maybe someone who would uh, be confused somehow uh, uh -huh. uh, when, when it comes to the harmonious, uh, the, that harmony of, of, of maybe look, mm. there is someone who maybe can contradict with that statement mm. um, simply because maybe this man is very brown mm -hmm. and the the wife she is uh, she has a very dark complexion mm. or the vice versa mm. now how, how, how are, you, are you telling us that maybe you you know that even before you ask <laughs> because you have seen it those people looks alike they may not rhyme completely and one become light like the other or dark like the other but you you will see and see there is reflection between this and the other the wife will begin to reflect the husband and the husband will begin to manifest the wife wow amen the wife will reflect the husband and the husband will begin to manifest amen. the wife amen. that's how it happened the wife is a reflector always mm. yeah when uh, when uh, when the husband is happy the wife is happy when the husband is sad, the wife is sad. Mm -hmm. They are reflectors. Mm -hmm. The woman is created for the glory Amen. of man. Amen. That means to manifest man. You are at your best when you are at your glory. So the woman is supposed to reflect man. Somebody is saying, he looks like the two of us are left-handed. No, we are right-handed. <laughs> Maybe it's technology that is confusing you. And then, <laughs> that, is, that, is, that is not right. Maybe you are seeing opposite of what is being seen here. We are all right on it. Mm. Now, that's, uh, that's us. Now, listen to me. You visit the story now, spiritual. Mm. These people, male and female, they are created spiritually with the same power, with the same authority. Yeah. Spiritually. Mm -hmm. For you now to trace yourself. And be able to become one flesh. You begin. You begin from the spiritual point of view. The source. The source. And the spiritual is the word of God. Amen. I want you to understand that. Spiritual is the word of God. The, word of God. the wife must be a lover of God. Amen. And the husband Husband must be a lover of God. Mm -hmm. And be baptized with the baptism of the Spirit. Amen. And become one with Christ. Mm -hmm. If I become one with Christ, and you become one with Christ, obviously, there is connection between the two of us in yeah, the Spirit. Yeah, yeah. In the Spirit. Mm -hmm. I want you to understand that now. So, a man who does not obey the Word of God, and a woman who does not obey the Word of God, it will become so difficult for them <laughs> to become one in the Spirit. I repeat, a man who does not obey the word of God and the woman who does not obey the word of God, it will be difficult for them to become wow. one spirit. Mm -hmm. Now, that's why God, before bringing Eve to Adam, 
He made sure that Adam is a worshiper. He made a garden called Eden. Eden means presence of God. It's worship. So Adam was a worshiper. So he came and met him in the presence of the Lord. It is in the presence of the Lord that we are able to unite in the spirit. Yeah, 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 yeah. It is in the presence of the Lord that we are able to unite in the, in the spirit. spirit. Amen. It is in the spirit of God, the, the presence, presence of God yeah. that we are reconciled together to God. So the man must purpose to obey God. And the woman must purpose to obey God. The more you move away from God, the more differences appear between the two you physically. That's right. You can try this and see it. And you will come to know it is true. The more you move away from God, the more differences appear between the two of you. The more you come close to God, the more differences go away. Yeah. Physical. I'm not talking about spiritual now. Mm -hmm. Physical. So, you must purpose to obey God. You must purpose to dwell in the presence of God. You must purpose to be filled with the Holy Ghost. You must purpose to walk in the ways of God as individually. And the other one must purpose to do that. Yeah. If ma spiritual marriage will take place. Spiritual marriage is not marrying in the church. There are people There's some people who think, now when you go to the church, this is spiritual marriage. You, you vow, you say, I do. Yes, I do. That's spiritual marriage. No. You can do that and it is not spiritual. It's not to be done. It's, it's your spirit becoming religious. one ah, with the spirit of the other. Mm. And now, somebody says now, I'm born again and I'm a worshiper. Yes, you've done well. The other one, a sister, is a born again and a worshiper. Yes. How do we now start from there? Now, when you have met the two of you and one is born again and the other born again, all of you with the fear of God, you start, you start with sharing your testimonies. Amen. <clears throat> how did you meet God? And the other one, how did you meet God? Your testimonies about God and your sharing of the spiritual life brings you unifies together. Unifies you. Unifies you. Yeah. Then now from there, you start fellowshipping together praying together reading the word of god even when we're in different churches when you go to church today what you learn about god you make sure you transfer it to the other person you share. and the other person whatever they learn they transfer it to you you will meet your spirit coming together because there are things that are happening in common and you begin to pray your spirit will begin to become one you flow in you flow spirit. Share your calling in God. What are the gifts you have? What is your plan about God? When you begin to do this, then you will begin to see yourself becoming one in the spirit. You are married yet, but you don't have time to discuss. You don't have time to share. Form a fellowship. Amen. A married couple. You need to have a fellowship. Fellowship where you read the word of God. You share your revelation, she shares the revelation, and you pray together. Praying together for the unity of the spirit. Some of us don't do that. Mm -hmm. You don't pray that the, your hearts are united in love. It's love that unites hearts. So you pray until the spirit also is united. Any difference in you is taken away. And then when you are like that, your spirit will become one.